Hey guys, today we're going to talk about aggressive reprints in Wizards of the Coast policy and their failure to bring a promise to light. So they promised that after the course that let, left, they would be very aggressive in how they reprinted. Someone asked Meryl a question and he said, Thoughtseize, which at the time before reprint was the $80-$100 card, was a mistake. I don't get this rationale, especially given the fact that they promised aggressive reprints. Uh, they've made that statement multiple times on multiple media platforms, and there's no aggressive reprints. Innistrad came and gone, and there's two cards in particular I want to talk about. They have been reprinted as foil promos, but I mean, how many of us have copies to that, right? I mean, Lily is still over $100, and what's Snap at? 50, 50 plus? It is kind of ridiculous, um, the rationale behind not reprinting these cards. And it's the fact that standard is it's too strong for standard. But you control what's in standard. Let's say Snapcast Mage gets reprinted. As long as no really OP instants or sorceries are in standard, it'll be fine. And let's say Liliana gets reprinted. As long as there's a lot of Planeswalker hate at 2, it's fine. So Wizard of the Coast controls what standard looks like via the other 251 cards. So to say that there is not, it's too strong is kind of, in my opinion, uh, a little ridiculous when you consider the promises that have been made and B, you know, the eventual end goal of players. The players want a collection piece. They want something like Thoughtseize which doesn't plummet to zero dollars of value. Tell me what other card in that entire block, minus the god cards, which, which are a mythic, really retained value? Um, very few. What cards and cons will retain value? Maybe the fetch lands and a few other random cards. But instead of reprinting Lily and Snap, we get Dead Weight and Unruly Mob. So they are willing to use reprints when it helps them, you know, promote the limited format, to promote drafting, sealed. But they will not make reprints, aggressive reprints, to support the modern or eternal formats. And, you know, that's kind of, a, to me, a broken promise. The concept of having really high very powerful cards that can be played in modern in standard sets to vastly reduce the price that was a promise that was made and it's not one that was kept or in, it's not one that I feel like will be kept so reprints I don't know when we'll see a good one